YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be on Warzone, and this is going to be settings for your graphics to improve your FPS. We usually go over Siege in this channel, but everyone loves the best graphic settings, so we're going to do it today on Warzone. So obviously, this is made for PC players, and we're going to go over everything that I possibly can think of. We aren't going to be hopping into the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD control panel because that's just irrelevant for this video, but if you guys want to see that, I made an AMD video on the control panel, so if you want to optimize even further than what we're doing here today then you could go ahead and check that video out but for the sakes of this we're just going to go over basically the basic window settings that you guys can change and then we'll hop into the real game settings now everyone likes to say just bring it all low that's the best ever on every single game but that has been proven wrong multiple times because there are a lot of moving pieces with your settings while low will actually get you somewhere close to where you want to be you also want to be able to see the enemy so i have settings perfect for that best fps while also being able to actually see things on the screen all right first First things first, let's get into some window settings since these are just free frames that you can pick up here and there, just optimization. Nothing's going to set you like 30, 40 FPS over what you were before, but these are little things to smoothen out your game. So let's get it started with the same thing I do with pretty much every game. So this is about the same. If you guys followed along on my Rainbow Six one, this is basically the same stuff. I added a few things though to the end. So first things first, make sure your windows is up to date. That's just the first thing you should always do. Make sure that this says you are up to date. If you're not there's going to be random stutters and i'm sure of that it's happened to me before all right next thing is you're going to want to have the game kind of up or just somewhere where you can find it on the task manager it's easier on the task manager you could just get right click here go properties once you have that go over to compatibility you're going to want to have this thing disable full screen optimization next thing you want to do hit this button right here change high dpi settings and hit override high dpi scaling behavior if your game is still feeling choppy even after this make this run this program as administrator that is the last step if you ever want that i don't ever do that though i just hit apply and then okay next thing you want to do type in graphic settings here till you have this right here go into graphic settings and you guys see that i have a bunch of different games here I just removed Warzone just to show you guys exactly how I do it. We got to find the game file, okay? So in this situation, I just went to my games folder, found Modern Warfare, and gave it this one, Modern Warfare application. Double click on that, and you're going to want to set this so it's on high performance all the time. Otherwise, it's going to decide for you. You don't want a power savings. That does not help your frame rate. We're not worried about your electrical build. We're worried about your FPS currently, so we're going to hit high performance. Next thing you want to do, type in background apps, click on that, and then you're going to want to have these off. It should be on probably. Probably just standard it's on but let turn that off so you don't have any of this junk working in the background because you don't want any of this stuff actually working in the background and finally the last thing I have for you guys this is a lot of window settings but I would recommend you turn game mode off off unfortunately it's a good theory but until they get this more optimized it just does not work for most situations especially amd cards i'm telling you right now amd this thing makes you stutter and if you're stuttering it could be because of this game mode so turn that thing off okay you could test this for yourself if you're on nvidia but for amd for the most part this thing is better off all the time now as for in game this is important now i don't completely optimize 100 percent for fps but i'll give you the options for both some of the things i do for more eye candy type aesthetics and i'll give you the better one for fps if that's your main goal and only goal but i prefer a good mix between visibility and fps general there's nothing really like that fov you're gonna want it all the way up you just want to see more of the screen it's a great representation here brightness i find 55 being very good at least for my display now this might be different depending on your monitor but you're going to want it if it says barely visible you want this to be pretty darn visible you don't want it to be barely visible you want it to actually be able to pop and you want to be able to see it before we get into the graphics tab mini map shape you're going to want this as square you could see more if it's square as you guys can see just with this representation here you get to see a lot more map rotation you want this on so it rotates with you so you really get an accurate representation of where you are at so as for the only thing that will really affect your fps on the screen i would have this as disabled unless if for some reason you want to see gore effects but for most people that's probably not the case it's not going to affect your frames that much and it's going to be very rare but that choppiness can occur from that and then we just have fps counter and all these things on just so we could track what our system's doing as for graphics this is simple you're going to want this on full screen all the time never do full screen borderless i know it's, things are tempting because whenever you alt tab out of the game it kind of does like a glitchy kind of move but just keep it on full screen that's going to help your fps the most display obviously have it as your display and then screen refresh rate make sure this is up to whatever your screen is rated to if it's not up to that go to your windows right click hit display settings and make sure your monitor is doing all right on the windows end and then worry about in-game render resolution this is a big thing some people
some people say turn this down and make the resolution less which will improve your frames but the game will look like absolute trash so just keep it at 1920 by 1080 turn v-sync off you don't want to hinder your frame rate at all that's all v-sync really does you always want that off on literally everything nvidia control panel amd control panel nothing have v-sync off on everything frame rate limit you're going to want this on unlimited if your computer can barely get you know around 70 you might as well just cap it at 60 because you're not going to really be able to see much difference if you aren't trying to push your computer for me i don't care i just have it unlimited i get in the hundreds with a pretty mid-tier pc in my opinion that's why i don't optimize everything to low because i'm in a weird space where i'm not going to be able to get like 240 fps with this computer so it doesn't really matter that much but keep in mind this is for visibility plus frames so streaming quality i have this on normal if you have a low end pc turn this on low this mostly depends on whatever amount of memory you have if you have really low memory on your graphics card turn this thing on low texture resolution the difference between normal and low is pretty much minimal in a frame rate perspective but if you're on a low end pc put this on low i don't recommend very low ever it just looks absolutely terrible visibility gets ruined completely so i would recommend at least low or normal depending on whatever your computer system is as for everything else though most things are on low here but texture filter low all this is is just distracting so keep that on low particle quality i have this on high full impact this is enabled this is one of those things that really doesn't change your fps very much much so i don't care at my state if i was trying to push out every fps this isn't going to make the game look worse or anything i just have it enabled for my isic i would put this as disabled for most people that are pushing frames tessellation just have this disabled you don't need this on demand texture streaming have this off this is completely visual gives you no added benefit in game for visibility or anything shadow map resolution the difference between high shadows and low shadows is just chiseled shadows i don't really care if the shadows are chiseled i just need to be able to see people's shadows so i have this on low that's really as high as you ever want to go this is going to be a big frame hit if you put this on high i would have these two disabled for most systems except if you have a super high-end system with a lot of ram if not they'll keep that disabled particle lighting have that at low this is a huge frame hit i've tested this one a lot it actually affects your frames pretty drastically mostly whenever there's like a thermite thrown or grenade or anything like that you're gonna want these two disabled especially this one you want this one disabled for sure because your anti-aliasing is off if it's not you're gonna add some crazy noise into your gameplay which just does not look good so i would have this off anti-aliasing off biggest frame hit out of everything here is anti-aliasing the difference between high and low is massive plus the difference in looks is just not there i like the chiseled look anyways a lot more depth of field you want this disabled if you don't then you're gonna have a blurred scope that's all that'll be blurred on some sites it's actually nice to have it blurred but for most especially with the current meta of the ffar keep this thing off because your whole thing would be blurred have filmic strength all the way up if you have anti-aliasing off you're going to want this all the way up it's just a general thing that you should follow world motion blur and weapon motion blur turn this off it looks terrible it does not help you it definitely does not help you especially world motion blur weapon motion blur just hurts my eyes both of these are just eyesores in my opinion and they actually hurt your fps too so just keep that thing off film grain turn this off or else you'll look pixelated like this some people actually like that i know the streamer um something iron i think it's like it's iron or something he has this thing all the way up i hate it but some people like it because it makes it look a little more realistic i think it just looks like a pixelated 80s camera so i keep this thing off doesn't really matter for frames but keep that thing off if you like a clean screen dynamic resolution turn that off and frame rate 60 shouldn't matter anyways so that is all of this i'm gonna go in the audio settings too just in case you guys care i like this on boost low it sounds good it depends on your headset though my headset's always linked down below my whole system's linked down below so that's all there for you guys it's all public knowledge but boost low 75 this game is stupidly loud so i actually am able to adjust it with a mixer but 75 is just the base music volume very low effects 90 i'd personally recommend this at 90 and that's really all that matter boost low is the only thing that really matters everything else is headphone dependent but yeah if you guys want to look at my headphones they're like 30 bucks or something off amazon and they are pretty high quality sound not the most luxurious headphone ever but for 30 bucks it's very very good so that's all for graphics once again i got these from a mix of players a lot of professional players so this isn't just someone talking out of their butt but i've been getting into warzone more again so i want to rejuvenate that and i want to introduce it to the channel if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe to the channel and like the video i'd appreciate it a ton thank you very much have a great day peace out